It's been 10 years since Hurricane Katrina devastated the New Orleans area, causing billions of dollars in damage and destroying many people's homes. Daily Iowan TV's Megan Sanchez went out to see how a small town in Iowa was able to give one couple a fresh start after the disaster. <laughs> Here to the streets of small town Iowa that Augusta restaurant has brought just a touch of New Orleans. Owners Ben and Jerry Halprin opened their restaurant back in 2008 after leaving New Orleans due to Hurricane Katrina. Where we had lived it was just all underwater. You could see the water lines up the trees and the houses and there were boats in the middle of the road. With what little they could salvage, the couple headed back to the Midwest where they had family to start a new life. And we heard word about Oxford and that there was a little restaurant room, you know, an old, older building that was very reasonable. So we packed up and came out and started this. And here we are. The restaurant provides an all-American menu with burgers and steaks, but brings a New Orleans vibe with traditional dishes like po' boy sandwiches and red beans and rice. I make everything in-house, so I do everything from scratch, all the bread and mayonnaise and all the sauces and dressings. Though the Halperin's home in New Orleans was completely flooded, they consider themselves fortunate. Our story is kind of a good story. So you have to land up here and you have our own restaurant and things are going well. Um, a lot of people had a lot worse than we did. Although Iowa is their home now, Jerry says New Orleans and Katrina are still a part of her. It lives within me. That city is one city that lives in you. Know, Ten years later, we need to keep carrying and keep it going on. And it is one of the most important cities in America and beautiful and different and free. Reporting in Oxford, Iowa, this is Megan Sanchez, Daily Iowan TV. Augusta was closed this weekend while they were serving up some grub at Iowa City's Soul Fest, but will open back up this Wednesday night at 5 p.m. for dinner.